Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. We're outside at the solar array and it is quite the beautiful day for a February. Uh, we're getting ready to reconfigure our solar a little bit. So we installed a Solark 12K inverter some months ago and uh, never moved the solar over to that inverter. We were still using our Outback FlexMax 80s. So today we're gonna go over what we're gonna go through uh, to change this solar system over from a low voltage of around 140 volts DC up to about 450 volts DC uh, and make that work for the Solark. We've also had a little bit of weather come here. You can see there's a panel here on the ground behind me. There's a rack kind of over there that's, uh, that's not in good shape. We'll show you that here in a second. But uh, we've got a little bit of fixing to do, but we're also going to work on getting things reconfigured. Now it's a little windy today, so I apologize in advance if there's any wind noise, but let's check out what we've got to get done. So this rack right here actually took flight in a windstorm we have. Now this was secured to the other racks. You can kind of see um, there's a two by four over here that is totally broken off and removed. It's actually still on that rack. We had one panel that shattered and those were a little bit different panels than these ones here. Those were some Renogy panels. It was a kit with those four panels and some micro inverters. So it kind of sucks because that we don't have a panel that can replace that one, but we do have panels that are about this size. So we're gonna try and grab one of our panels off one of the pallets that's this size and put it in place and uh, set it up in a series string and I'm pretty sure everything's gonna work out just fine. Other than that, uh, down here you can kind of see our connections. Um, these racks are four panels per rack and we have a positive on one end and a negative on the other. You can kind of see these wires here are just uh, not really done the best. We were in a little bit of a hurry when we put all this together. Uh, so now's our chance to clean it up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this. This goes to our combiner box. And on this panel right here is another wire. I know it's kind of hard to see in here, but this goes to the combiner box too. So what we're gonna do is disconnect these from a parallel connection. And I'm essentially gonna connect these panels together uh, in series. And if we come up here, this whole line all the way down to our combiner, which is in the middle, is gonna be in series and this faces east. So I'm gonna put one row of 12 panels facing east and another row of 12 panels facing west on one MPPT channel on that solar arc. And then the other half of the rack um, is another 12 panels facing east and 12 panels facing west. Those are also gonna be connected in series for high voltage, the two strings in parallel, and that's gonna be on a second channel on the Solark. So we could put all of this solar directly connected to the Solark, which is extremely efficient compared to the charge controllers that we're using. And uh, it's really gonna make this system perform quite well. And let's check out over here what's going on with the combiner boxes and share what we're gonna do there. So here we are opening up our solar combiner. Now what I did was I took this rack cabinet and put these eco-worthy combiner boxes in here. Now these kind of suck, honestly, because they're not totally waterproof. And if I open up this one, which I did the other day, uh, stuff has settled a little bit, but you can see there's spiders and all sorts of stuff in there. Uh, no fun, really. So also these doors don't open past 90. So if I open this one, I mean, you can kind of see a little better. There's nests in there and whatnot. It's kind of ridiculous, but no worries, what we're gonna do is still take advantage of these combiner boxes. So these are all the wires that go to my solar panels down here, and this is where they connect in parallel. Essentially what I'm gonna do is only use two of these inputs, okay? We're only gonna use two of these fuses, so there'll be four sets that aren't used. These fuses are rated for 1,000 volts, and then these are blocking diodes, and those are rated for 450 volts. So we're actually gonna be okay to utilize some of this same equipment in here. The only thing is, this main breaker is only rated for 250 volts DC, and that's where this entire panel gets its voltage rating at. These are surge suppressors right here. These are rated at 1,000 volts. Um, so we really should have no issue 
upping this to the higher voltage and then still utilizing our main feed back to the electrical room, we're just gonna need to find a new main breaker that operates at the correct voltage. So once we do that, uh, we'll be good to go using this same box and we'll only just be using two channels instead of the six that are in these. So that really makes wiring quite simple. If you haven't seen our first video on when we built this whole thing, uh, we'll put a card in the top corner and you can kind of see where we put all this together and what our process was, our thoughts, that kind of thing. So, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go into the electrical room and show how we're gonna move the power from the other end of this feed onto the Solark inverter. So let's go over there now. So I'm going ahead and opening up these wireways in here in the electrical room. You can hear in the background the solar charge controller ramped up. I wanna show you guys in here how this is wired and uh, then you guys can see how uh, we're gonna be moving it. So, so here is where our solar used to come in. There's a two inch uh, PVC conduit that comes into an LB right here and then it drops down here into the gutter. Uh, if I pull out this wire right here, this is the solar feeds and I left plenty of extra because I'm like that, I plan ahead. So this wire mess here is the power coming from the solar. So that comes down here and if you take a look, there are some labels and it goes here into our Outback charge controllers. So all we got to do is yank out these two wires from each charge controller, pull it back through the gutter up to here, we'll take this LB off and take this PVC pipe to here and we're gonna cut it really close to the wall. It's probably gonna be um, maybe cut about an inch from the wall and then we're gonna glue on one of those male adapters like we have right here. This is a male adapter. So this goes from the slip fitting of the PVC pipe to the threads. We're gonna use this same LB uh, fitting that we have here but instead it's gonna come and shoot down this way. So then we'll put some strut on the wall and all that good stuff and come down to here where we're gonna sneak into the back of this wireway. You can see there is a concentric knockout there and we'll just punch that out for two inches. And uh, so you guys can get the whole picture. This is our Solark inverter here. Um, we're just gonna run a piece of one inch seal tight down and there are some uh, one inch knockouts here in the bottom that we can run that seal tight in just like our power feeds are ran in. And uh, from there, we'll be good to go. So here inside the Solark, you can see there are the PV terminals down here. So those are the ones we're gonna be utilizing. Now I may have to splice this in the gutter up top because I don't think these terminals are rated for that number six wire that we have. But that's okay, we can put a splice in there, bring it into here, and then we'll be good to go. So it's actually gonna be pretty easy to switch over. Uh, we just need to get some stuff from the hardware store. So uh, to avoid making this video way too long, we're gonna split this into two parts. In the next part, we'll be doing all that work and show you guys the progress update. So if you guys want more Solark videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in purchasing a Solark, uh, our company, Current Connected, now is a authorized distributor for Solark, so you can get them through our website at store.currentconnected.com. We'll put a link in the description below. And uh, other than that, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video where we get all this work done, and it's going to be pretty interesting. So I'll see you guys then. Have a great day, and bye-bye now.